Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of July. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid. It may not resonate the day that you watch it, so you may need to watch it at a different time in July or come back to it. Okay, because tarot readings are kind of, they can be what's happening right now, but they can also be a preview of what's to come. So, let's see what we got. What do we have for Libra? We're going to get an overall energy. Financial constraints. <laughs> looks like the, you know, the cupboard is bare, right? I mean, that's what it looks like to me. You may be pinching your pennies, unfortunately. Um, might not be saving, you know, maybe you can't save any money at this time. Maybe things are just costing way too much. Um, that could be your main focus. Your finances may be your main focus during this month. Maybe you're trying to build back up your bank account in some way. Or you're struggling. You're struggling financially and you're probably, you know, trying to figure out ways to recover. What do we have for Libra? It's like the cupboards are bare. Oh, this is the Queen of Wands reverse. Now, this is a lack of ambition, a lack of drive. You may not be passionate about your job or whatever you're doing. And when you lose that passion, you know, you, you tend to go downhill. Um... You could be dealing with an individual who doesn't know your worth, or is somebody that is cold, I mean the King of Cups reversed, but you could be dealing with Pisces, could be dealing with, because this is Pisces as well, uh, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now there could be another woman in your picture. If this isn't you, you could be dealing with a man who doesn't have good intentions and he's involved with another woman. I mean, i got to tell you, because that could certainly be the case with these two cards. Um, you could be dealing with a person, if you are the woman watching this, you could be dealing with a person that is confused as to who they want. Just saying that. You, if you are the man watching this, you may not be, be, be focused on a relationship right now because maybe you're dealing with a miserable woman or you're dealing with financial constraints and you don't have the energy to focus on a relationship right now. I mean, that could be the, the case. We have somebody here that is emotionally withdrawn from love because they may be in a state of suspension because there's just... There's financial issues, you know, I can't focus on it. And you could be dealing with another person who is upset because you can't focus on love right now because you're working on your money, right? Anyway, you could be dealing with, if you are the male watching this, you could be dealing with a woman who doesn't put in a lot of effort and she needs a lot of sympathy and she doesn't have a lot of good things to say and she's causing you to withdraw. I could, I could keep going with just these three cards. We have somebody here that is really struggling um, with finances and it pro could be affecting their relationship. Whether they have one or not, you know. Wow, yeah, we definitely have some financial issues here. King of Pentacles reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But if not, this could be you really trying to recover financially. Somebody that is really trying to focus on their money. You know, it's not about love right now. I don't care if you're upset. You know, I got to take care of my business. We have somebody here that is really, really struggling. Ten of Wands reverse. Now, this is a this is this is a collapse could be financial collapse, financial burden, I don't know. Um, but this is breaking free, Ten of Wands reversed. 
Um, maybe you need to let go of resp some responsibilities. Maybe you need to let go of some things that cost you money. Maybe, maybe the burden is, you know, maybe you got too many toys. I'm just, I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe you got to change your way of living. Maybe you got to sell something. I don't know. Um, make a conscious change. Somebody is trying to make a conscious change to bring balance back because they're overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed. And it's like they're dealing, or you're not dealing. You could be dealing with another person who isn't really helping. Somebody who's lazy, maybe. Uh, oh my God, damn. Excuse my language. Um, wow, definitely financial chaos. I'm sorry to bring you this message. Um, there's somebody's made some poor financial decisions and now they're paying the price. And it's causing a relationship to. You know, have problems, put it that way. It's causing suspension in a relationship, or it's causing limbo, or it's causing a struggle. It's causing a relationship to struggle because the financial burdens are. Or that even even the desire to look for a relationship, if you are single, there's, there's finances are on the mind. Um... You know, we could have be dealing with a person, whether it's you or the other person. These can go vice versa. Somebody who uses victim uh, mentality as a tactic. Oh, they're always a victim. There's this is a victim mentality here. Poor, poor. And this is poor, poor me. You know, and you may not have any tolerance for that at this point. Five of Swords. Oh, my God. This is a like a constant battle of power struggles. There, and I can see that there is. There's power struggles here. There's conflict. There's um, <sighs> defeat. You may feel like you're defeated. Like everybody's pointing at you and you've done all that you can do. And it's like you're just ready to give up. You may feel like you're ready to give up. Oh my God. Jeez. So. <sighs> this is major change coming upheaval disaster a, you know destruction um it looks as though you're just waiting for the shit to hit the fan and it's probably about to erupt there's probably about to be some sort of abrupt abruption there could be some sort of uh well there's going to be some sort of ending here unfortunately there is. The tower comes in. The tower moment comes in to remove something from your life that is costing you. Whether it's costing you money or it's costing you peace or it's costing you contentment or it's overwhelming you. Whatever it is. This is the universe coming in to cause a major disruption to change things for you. Five of Wands reversed. Now this is going to bring you relief. It is. It is going to bring you relief even though... You may not see it that way when it happens, okay? You may not. You may be. You may. This is a shock, okay? This is, this is shocking, okay? So it is. Can't make it up. There could be some sort of battle or a fight between you and this significant person in your life. There's a significant person in your life that you are battling with, or you are probably going to battle with. And you know, it's it. it this is all happening for a reason. Whatever this is, is something is going to happen to change your circumstances. There could be some sort of, um, not trying to scare anybody, but there could be some sort of upheaval that, or there is going to be some sort of upheaval that maybe it costs you some money. Maybe this these financial constraints haven't reared their head yet and they're about to. I mean, I just, I can't. I'd love to pretty this up for you, but anybody that knows tarot can see that this is not a pretty picture by any means whatsoever. You could have a meddler that is causing problems for you, you know, that is costing you money in some way. Um, it feels like everybody is pointing at you and it's like the, the burden is on your shoulders and... <laughs> You know, nobody's listening to you. Nobody cares what you have to say. And 
you know, you're probably about to blow up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, three of Cups. It could be a loss. A loss of a relationship or a loss of a friendship. There's not a lot of teamwork here. I mean, I can't. It's like, I mean, Three of Cups. We, I mean, we know what that means. That's a loss. It's a loss of a friendship or a relationship or... Um, I mean, that's what it is. <clears throat> the High Priestess. Now, this is you. This is you for, for some of you. This is you knowing. It's like your intuition. This is part of the script. I think that you know something. I think that you you probably see this, this, this coming because it's going right here. You probably know uh, what you need to do, but you may be doubting yourself. You may be keeping to yourself. You may want to isolate yourself at this time. You may not want to socialize with anybody. You may feel like you don't want to socialize with anybody because if you do, you might blow up at them. You, you might be feeling frustrated, put it that way. I feel like for some of you, you may just want to retreat and keep to yourself. Um, I think that you are highly intuitive at this time and you probably know exactly what's going on. But whoever you're dealing with doesn't see it. They don't they're not they don't they don't know what you know, put it that way. It's like you have this inner knowing that what to do, but just like these people they won't listen. They won't listen. That sucks. But anyway. Seven of Cups, Jeez and Crow. This is this is a complex decision. You are probably going through a period of confusion right now, and that's probably why you're isolating yourself. You're probably confused as to what you need to get rid of to change these circumstances. You're probably yeah. You probably have to to choose something different. This is a card of consequences as well. So somebody may be some, suffering some consequences for overindulging. I mean, maybe somebody has overindulged in spending or who knows what. Or maybe somebody chose something that they shouldn't have chose and now that we have somebody here that is thinking about you know, making a different choice. Now, Seven of Cups is also a card of fantasy. Some of you may have been holding on to some sort of fantasy. Maybe you've been holding on to a person or a situation that really feels good or looks good, but it's not real. Death. Holding, oh God, holding on to a dead end. Listen to me. And it's getting old. You guys need to release something. Something is costing you. Not only is it costing you money, it's costing, costing you emotional contentment. It's costing you peace. It's turned your life upside down because when you're focused on a dead end, everything else goes to shit because it's the only thing you can focus on. Two of Wands, this is the crossroads. You have to make a choice. Maybe it's time. You do have to let something go. It's time to step over that edge. It's time to focus on the future. It's time to choose the new path that is going to bring you abundance and peace and joy and happiness. It's time to step into greener pastures. It's time to leave the past behind that has caused so much chaos and upheaval in your life. Somebody has made a decision based on some sort of fantasy. I'm sorry. I 
And I think there's another person involved in this game. Anyway, this two of wands, this is two paths, decisions, options. The grass is greener on the other side. But we have somebody here that is restricting themselves. Living in this lack of contentment, not letting the past go when there is an opportunity for something better on the horizon, but you just got to leave something, you got to let something go. Something that's costing you, it's costing you happiness, it's costing you emotional contentment, it's breaking your heart, it's hurting your heart, it's costing you money, whatever it is, it's, it's not fulfilling you. I think some of you are holding on to, could be a person, it could be things, could be both that doesn't reciprocate we could have somebody here who thinks that they know but it's a fantasy poor decision holding on to a dead end that isn't stable, that isn't solid, that isn't secure, that isn't going anywhere. You could be dealing with an individual who doesn't have anything to offer you, but somebody's holding on, that hey man, holding on for dear life. You must struggle through this universal change that is coming. The tower removes things from your life to bring you something better. So I believe that you guys are probably thinking about stepping over that edge. You are probably thinking about leaving the past behind. It's really, really, really on your mind. Definitely. Definitely. I think that you know that holding on is just going to cause more upheaval. But finding the strength to let go of whatever this is, whatever this is that's costing you a lot. It's costing you peace. It's costing you money. It's costing you, you know, uh, it's causing you to be insecure about who you are. It's bringing a lot of upheaval into your life. Whatever it is that you are holding on to, I think that you are thinking of, you, you know, I think that you know it's time to let it go, but finding the strength to do so, this is lack of strength as well. These cards are just cue cards for me. Finding the strength to let go of something that felt good at one time or looks good or whatever is a hell of a lot easier said than done. But you are presented with this crossroads this month. You are presented with the opportunity to step out of this. You will be presented. There's probably going to be a huge fight or a huge blow up that gives you the opportunity to let it go. Choose wisely. Follow your intuition. Holding on to dead ends is not going to bring you anything stable, solid, and secure. One more card for Libra. What did I just say? You needed the strength. You needed the strength. <gasps> and if I, you could see my goosebumps, that would be great. But I'm sure that you can't. Finding, I, I can't, I don't even need to explain the card because I, I just did. Find the strength to let go of things that are costing you your sanity. The opportunity will be presented to you this month. You can do it. <laughs> 